leadership here that's been recently done. I see security cameras. I see clean paint, clean walls, clean furniture, recessed lighting. I like seeing a building. It makes me happy and cheerful when I walk in. Mailboxes. The building does have stairwell or elevator. We're going to take the elevator. You know, as well, we mentioned earlier, I'm going to give this gentleman a, a moment here. Uh, we mentioned earlier the tennis courts. What else do we have? We have swimming pools. We have tennis courts. Uh, as far as parking, the owner, it's a one unit building and the owner will get one parking pass and he will have one visitor parking pass as well. So access to two spots. Uh, there is street parking here as well, which you could take a look for it. With that being Route 7, it should be very easy uh, to catch a bus. Our closest metros are going to be the East Falls Church Metro and the Ballston Metro. Now, as we're walking through, if somebody has um, a question, please type it into the chat. Again, I'm Mike Corrin with Classic Realty. My assistant, Kyla, is the host. She's monitoring this. So what we're going to do is the first time I'm going to do a walkthrough. I'm going to show everybody around. The second time, she can read back those questions to us, get your questions answered. Let me know if you want me to take a look at something. For example, our uh, electric uh, panel was just completely replaced in 2019. So that is newer. We have a newer HVAC um, carrier system installed 2020. That's a very expensive item. Uh, the home was just painted about two weeks ago. We have a bidet in the bathroom. Things you wanna take a look at, let me know. We'll go ahead and uh, make sure you get a good look around. Okay. So on the fourth floor, which is interesting because I'm actually, the lobby is on the second floor. So technically, I'm not sure if it's second or third or fourth, depending on where you're standing. Okay, now as I come out here, I want you all to notice again, the nice paint, the carpet, everything is really fresh, really clean in the hallway. Good pride of ownership. For anyone that's coming in late and they want to see the exterior of the building, uh, you can go ahead and, um, and do that on Facebook as well, too. You go to my Facebook, which we actually just changed the name, but I think it's uh, the Mike Core and Real Estate Team. So a couple benefits. It's Unit 405, and it's uh, right next door to the elevators. I also like that the laundry room is immediately across the hall, it's, as well as the trash room. So it makes... Those chores a heck of a lot easier. Okay, so it's not a big place, so I'm going to move a little bit on the slower side, or I'm going to attempt to. I'm going to just pan around first, and then we'll do a little detailed walkthrough. I don't know if you all can tell on your end, but there's a lot of uh, minor detail here, things that I really like. And when I do my walkthrough, I'm gonna slow it down and give you some of the detail. I wonder, I'm curious how many of you can catch the things that I'm looking at and that I like and that I'm gonna highlight. Okay. So let's take a peek. Here's some of the things I'm going to take a look at. The house was painted last week. Really good condition. A couple of things I like to point out every time I look at a condo or a townhouse is there a coat closet. Believe it or not, there's a lot of homes that will not offer that. So what do you do, particularly those, you know, January snowy 40 degree days? Where do you put the raincoat? Where do you put all of those things? Um, as we come through here, as I mentioned earlier, I personally, everyone's a little bit different. I personally would not want to face Route 7. Or it wouldn't be bad, but it wouldn't be my favorite. I like the fact we're overlooking a private wooded courtyard here. Those are the tennis courts down there. This is a lush Virginia summer, so it's hard to see uh, the tennis courts. And I like the sun-filled home. I take a look out. See those blue skies and those fluffy clouds over there. 
So this is big enough. We had two chairs out here. Easily put a coffee table in the middle there. I have a digital thermostat here. It's a smart thermostat, which can help you to, number one, have more conveniences, but two, to save a little bit of money as well. Okay, so your heat and AC, it's kind of like the heart and lungs of your house. This is not, not a cheap piece of equipment. Uh, the seller did replace it this year. He did not go with cheap commercial grade. This is a brand new carrier system. This is thousands of dollars to get installed. Uh, life expectancy on this is probably you know, 17, 18, 20 years, somewhere in there. So know the most expensive part of your house has been taken care of. There's hardwood floors in here, but I like the separation of the hardwood to the kitchen dining area. It makes for easier cleaning here. Gas cooking, I like that. The condo fees here, they do include all utilities. So that's your gas, that's the electric. Um, condo fees are only $389 per month. So it's your heating, your cooling, your water, your sewer, everything except internet access. The seller is leaving these built-in bookshelves here. We have this MR16 recessed lighting, which is nice. And then the electric box was replaced in 2019. Again, that's one of the most expensive items in your house. So I might corn with Classic Realty, and just for anyone coming in a little bit late, what we're doing is this virtual tour. You're welcome to come and see it in person. Uh, just you can contact me. You can call and contact uh, your favorite realtor to come get a tour. And uh, we're doing a walkthrough. The first walkthrough right now, I am, or I am uh, navigating it. I'm, uh, I'm narrating. Uh, the second one, go ahead and ask me to focus on things that you want to take a look at. And uh, we can uh, get make sure you get a look at everything you want to take a look at. My assistant Kyla is on this thread, so you can just type comments in the comments section, and she'll get those answered. If you want to see the outside grounds, uh, you can go to my Facebook page, which is uh, the Mike Core and Real Estate Team, and see the outside as well. Uh, the shelving is going to stay. Yeah, I believe you're getting a free mirror as well out of this. I like this wide sink. I'm probably not coming out as well on camera is the real thing, but it's a really big sink. Makes it good for cleaning. Uh, the home was professionally cleaned last week. And there was a built-in uh, bidet. This is going to convey. Shelving will come. Also notice just some of the detail, my six panel doors. Here's the bedroom. The home does have hookups for Internet access, it's ready to go. And to my understanding, oh yeah, actually, forgive me, this, this wardrobe also does convey. There's a dimmer switch uh, built in here also. Okay, so we're just about to wrap up the first uh, round, the first tour of the home. So if anybody has any questions, go ahead and let me know. Let's uh, make sure and get you know your questions answered, things you want to see, questions you have, amenities, location, distance to DC, distance to Metro, et cetera. There is the uh, bike rack down there. There's a swimming pool here as well. How is the noise level? I can see that, Jackie. Thanks for your question. Uh, I have not spent a ton of time here. Uh, I, I, am, I am the realtor, but let me a a say two things. You're probably asking about the noise level from inside the building and outside the building. I have not heard one peep as far as a person talking or a stereo. Uh, there was no one in the lobby when I walked through, and there was uh, one person in the hallway 
and I've been here 45 minutes now. I think I bumped into one person, so it's quiet. If you were on the street, Route 7, Route 7 does have traffic all day. But this is not Route 7. It's very quiet, very peaceful. I don't see a car driving by. I actually don't see a person or hear a person. I just hear the breeze through the trees. Any other questions or comments, things that anyone would like to see? Otherwise, I'm going to head back downstairs to the lobby and I'll do another entrance and another tour of the home, but I'm gonna stay online. What is the laundry room like? I can see that. The, uh, the laundry room, there's one on each level and there's one washer and one dryer. So a couple of things I would think is it's immediately across the hall, just in case you're coming in late. You know, if it was down the hall, you might feel the need to sit around and sit in the laundry room. That is the laundry room right there. And there's the refuse room. But uh, if, for instance, it's full and you want it, you can just uh, run downstairs There's one or upstairs. There's one on each level. Um, but again, with it right across the hall, off hours, you know, could work well for you early in the morning, late in the evening when it's not being used. Before I start the other tour, is there any other questions, any other specifics that I miss anything somebody would like to take a closer look at? I'm going to attempt to go a different way around the building this time. And uh, we can take a look at the swimming pool. Can I see the AC unit? Absolutely. Let's go back in here and take a look. This is a carrier brand AC unit. This was installed in 2020. This is the most expensive item in your home to replace. Um, it's brand new, been taken care of. Uh, for those that don't know, Carrier is a brand name. You know, there's commercial grade, which is thousands less. The seller, um, you went the extra mile to have comfort. And he's providing that over, you know, to the new homeowner. Okay, thoughts or questions before I walk outside and we do the tour once more. I'm just gonna hang tight for about 30 more seconds to see if anyone has anything. And then I'm gonna head out, we'll take a look. You know, as you could probably imagine, we took the elevator to get here. There are stairwells as well too on either ends of the building. Can we add an island to the kitchen? Okay, so here's, here's my thought. As far as usability, do you have the space? Um, absolutely, depending on how much space you like, like to have. I mean, this is not an efficiency. You obviously have a bedroom there. So that is the bedroom. So you would have plenty of space. There's a couple thoughts that I would think about is uh, if it's gonna be a permanent fixture, I think your condo association would need to approve that. But one of the things you're gonna love about buying a condo in Virginia is your right to rescind on the condo documents. So let's say, hey, I want to buy this place, but I'm only going to buy it if I can put in an island. If the condo association says no, you have three days from the, normally, you have three days uh, to back out of the contract and get your deposit back if you're not allowed to. But here's something I would suggest is I own a small apartment building that is efficiencies. You go to ikea.com and you can buy small freestanding islands. You can pop right in there. Um, it's no different than putting a dresser in here. You would not need condo permission for that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and head out. Let's uh, take a look at the exterior again. And then we'll come back through. So <clears throat> to recap, anybody coming in late, we are in a absolutely phenomenal real estate market. Uh, you might think that it's a slow market because of the virus that people are hunkering down and not buying that sellers are not selling. I know the, the news loves sharing doom and gloom, but what is the reality? What are we seeing since I have the pulse on the market? We're seeing homes fly off the shelf. It's great for sellers. We're seeing buyers buy at nationwide historically low um, 
mortgage rates. I, I was listening to something this morning from my favorite real estate economist. And I think we broke the record. I want to say he said seven or eight times this year. Nationwide, because of the low interest rates, the average buyer's purchasing power is about $30,000 higher than it used to be. So what does that mean? Let's say, hey, um, I was going to buy a $170,000 house with the rates from a year ago. With the rates today, your same payment, you can afford a $200,000 house. So those mortgage rates are a really big deal. We are at United States historic lows. Homes are, are hard to get a hold of. They're flying off the shelf. But I do encourage everyone, that can be a little disheartening sometimes if you're a buyer. But I like to remind something, if everybody, a few things. Uh, homes, someone's got to buy them. So it, it could be you. Don't ever lose steam. It's, it's part of the deal. I've been an agent for 18 years. I've seen all kinds of markets. I'm not afraid of competition. Um, and I also would like um, people to know the seller has given an okay for pre-inspections. That's a great thing to do, whether it's this one or if you want to buy a different home. What a pre-inspection is, is if you're going to end up inside of a bidding war, and by the way, contracts for this one are due, uh, sellers requesting Tuesday at 2 p.m. What a pre-inspection is, is you can have, get your realtor of choice. If you need help, I could help you out with this. Go through, you have a, a home inspector come and look at your major items only. You know, kind of like if you're buying a car, you want to make sure you're not buying a lemon. So they might not check every single outlet, you know, and every light bulb, but you want to make sure that you're not buying a lemon. And then it can give you the confidence that perhaps you can put in an offer on this house saying you're going to buy it um, as is with no inspection. If you can buy a house that way, that's probably, well, other than price, the number one uh, tip in a bidding war. So I probably shouldn't be giving out all of my secrets, but uh, that's a big one right there. So say, hey, we're going to do no home inspection. Uh, a tier below that is doing a home inspection for informational purposes only. And also perhaps at this price point, you know, perhaps it's a little bit lower than what your top end is. You know, other things you could do is come in with a strong price and say it's not going to be conditional on appraisal. So let me give you, I'm just going to pick really easy numbers. These numbers are for demonstration only. So let's say uh, the word ballpark, I think 149,900. You could say, hey, I'm going to offer 155, you know, 160, anything, 500,000. You could say, I'm going to buy this for, um, and I'm not going to have an appraisal. So anything, let's say you see buy it for 155, you put it under contract. What that would mean is if it appraises um, for only 150, you would have to bring up an extra, bring an extra $5,000 in cash. So I'd, I'd say between that and doing a home or no home inspection on your contract are the two greatest things to win a bidding war. Okay, I hope everyone's getting a sense. It's quiet, it's peaceful. And if you are in the swimming pool, you're gonna have a ton of privacy because I cannot get a good angle of it. Here it is right here. It is closed right now just due to the current times that we're in, but we are not gonna be here forever. Oh, that does look beautiful. And I see them keeping it up, even just looking at it is cheerful. I'm not seeing trash, I'm not seeing debris, I'm not seeing cars speeding around, people loitering, everyone's friendly, everyone's respectful. Um, gardens are well maintained, it's a nice area. Hello. Okay, so we are at the virtual open house here at 6137 Leesburg Pike on the fourth floor. And we're doing round two of the open house. So what I did the first time is I narrated, if there's anything anybody wants to see, if you have any specific questions about this home or just about the market, go ahead and type them into the comments, please. My assistant, Kyla, she is the host of this. She can mention those to me and let's make sure and get all of your questions answered. I wanna make this as interactive and as fun as possible. Uh, sometimes I can see the comments, sometimes I can't, depending if I'm looking at the screen. I just saw a comment, how much is the pet fee? So this is not a rental, this is for purchase. I don't believe there's gonna be any kind of a pet fee. There are, 
going to be like everywhere you buy with an association restrictions on pets. I don't know what those restrictions are. You know, for example, you can't bring in horses, 200 pound dogs. One of the things you're going to love about buying a condo is you have the right to review your condo association documents. And if you don't like whatever the pet rules are, you have a right to back out of the contract and get your deposit back. But I'm sure if you go to uh, Lafayette Park, you know, condo association online, you can get most of those questions answered there. Virginia summers are beautiful. Look at that great myrtle right there. Okay, so we're doing round two. Please bring your questions to this to us. Let's make this as interactive as possible. Uh, as far as parking, as you can see, the grounds are very large. Uh, the owner of the building is going to have one parking pass and one visitor pass. So there should be plenty of parking. There's also street parking available. It does use a fob to get inside the building. You see here the lobby is nicely renovated, as well as the hallways. You actually enter this building on the second floor, so it's kind of confusing how to count, but I'd say we're probably on the third floor, this unit. And there are stairs if you prefer stairs. The seller has a suggested deadline for contracts of uh, Tuesday at 2 p.m. I'll then be reviewing anything that we might have, putting them into a spreadsheet, and I'll sit down with the seller shortly thereafter to go through them. Uh, I believe we are going to be in a multiple offer situation. I think that uh, we've had quite a bit of interest on this. And I think we had five requests just to show it just this morning. Okay, so we are the first unit next to the elevator, which I really like. I also like that the laundry room is right across the hallway. So if you're doing laundry late at night, early in the morning, you, know, you don't have to make long walks, easy to check on stuff. And uh, the refuse room is right close by. It's nice and chilly in here. We have a new 2020 carrier brand HVAC unit that is a brand name, heat AC unit, thousands of dollars. The seller did not put in cheap commercial grade. Uh, he put in the expensive thing and uh, that's gonna convey to you. This is a private balcony, which faces the tennis courts and the courtyard. Here's that carrier brand heat and AC system. By the way, I appreciate everyone being at this virtual open house. Please know this is available for real tours. Uh, you can contact me, you can contact your realtor of choice uh, to get this set up. Gas cooking, condo fees do include all utilities, including you know gas, electric, so it's gonna be your heat, AC, water and sewer and the fees are very cheap they are i'm working off memory but 389 dollars per month you have a coat closet we have hardwood floors recessed lighting we have another closet here with shelving a bathroom which really does not need much work done to it it's ready to go it's got a soap tub and a shower it's got a built-in bidet it's got a custom wide sink in there. Here's the bedroom. This wardrobe is going to convey. Now we're just about to wrap up here. Does anybody have any last minute questions about this home, uh, about the markets, about me? Maybe you have some help. Maybe you're trying to buy, you're trying to sell. And you have some questions answered, general questions we could take care of here. Uh, please let us know, you either comment below if you want me to reach out to you, or um, if you have my contact info, you can call, text, or email me. Happy to get any questions answered 
for you. You know, Mike Corrin with Classic Realty. I've been full-time now in the business since 2002. Love what I do. Always put my clients and their interests uh, first. I think one of the things you're going to love about me is I'm not afraid to work hard, to market hard, to spend my hard-earned money to get you into your home, you know, stress-free and on your timeline. If you're a seller, same thing, and to make as much money as possible. Um, I'll go ahead. Thank you, Jackie. My assistant will type it in. Kyla, if you could please type uh, my email address and just go ahead and put my, my personal cell phone in there too, 703-216-8467. You can call, text, or email me. Uh, happy to help everybody out. Hope everyone's doing well in these times. Uh, we're not going to be here forever. It is a beautiful day. So once your home shopping is out of the way, I hope everybody gets outdoors and uh, does whatever it is, you know, some recreation, spending time with friends and family and, uh, and helping out. So I'm Mike Corrin with Classic Realty. Uh, my assistant Kyla is typing in that information. Contact me about this home, anything that you need if you're having thoughts, again, of buying and selling. Um, if you don't know where to start, happy to help you out. Thanks everyone for being here and uh, contracts in this home are due Tuesday at 2 p.m. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye-bye now.